Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Moon Pressure Let's Plays. My name is Hecto, and today we are continuing with Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth Complete Edition, episode 18. Last time we had a little encounter with the Avalon server where we infiltrated as Yuko in order to get ahead of the demons and Jimmy Ken because they work together with Kamishiro, if I remember that correctly. <laughs> ah, it has been some time. I was actually on a business trip three days in Bamberg, which is a lovely town that that hasn't been bombed in the Second World War. So yeah, still a lot of old houses around. And a lovely cathedral. So yeah, <laughs> it has been some time and I took my mind off of Digimon completely. So, let's look and see. I am in Kulun today to search for some Mr. Navits. Yeah. <laughs> Truth be told, I only just remembered it. Oh, up there, on the left, there is one. I only just remembered it because I placed my character here last time. So, yeah. Good on me for planning ahead. Hmm, we need... Restoration. Oh, glow up! Error. <laughs> uh, Mr. Navit Type 2. Thank you most kindly for helping me out of my predicament. I hope you'll accept this token of my gratitude. Lucimon Medal. Oh, they give medals. Hmm, I kind of suspect they would... Oh, an HP spray. They would give me the titular hacker's memory, since we haven't really gotten much of them so far. Hmm. I mean, let's look and see. It certainly isn't the last one, so... Oh no, another Poyomon. Poor thing. Oh yeah, up there is another one, and down here there are none. Okay, this should be floor one of Kulun already done. Oh, I'm finally feeling good again. Oh, those damned hackers and their viruses. Here, take this as a, as a thank you. Titan metal and an SP spray. Yeah, okay, they all seem to give the same thing. Hmm... Hmm... Okay, now that we know what's going on here, I should probably just skip to all the other ones. Which will be a long track for me, but probably more pleasant to view for you, ladies and gents at home. So, see you at Navit number four, probably, presumably? Anyways, until then. And another Pokemon bites the dust. Okay, here we are on Kulun level 2, and acceleration has been so welcome. <laughs> Otherwise, this would take forever. Where is it? Restoration. Rise, my little buddy. Type 6? Oh, seems I missed some. Debug log, error, 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 item output. Oh, there actually is a hacker memory. Nice! I wasn't wrong! Okay, so now this doesn't feel as pointless. I mean, the medals were great and all, but still. Okay, Kulu level 3. Here we are. And on the right hand side, there is another Mr. Navit. I probably should keep like a list which which numbers we have. So this is Mr. Navit type 7. Hey, you help me out. I would have been fine staying like that, but hey, have this as thanks. Lilithmore medal? A tre A treadmill? Probably a farm item that I don't need. Okay, continuing on. That's two. Th Three, six, and seven. 
but four and five, we don't have. Is that correct? Okay, short intermission because Koromon has digivolved yet again. Ah, Shoutmon! Shoutmon was kind of amazing, but I remember that it needs a lot to reach the Digimon behind that, the digivolution of Shoutmon. Shoutmon is basically a dead end. That makes me sad because I kind of want to. I mean, we could just pinball Kodomon between Shoutmon, like, up and down all the time. But where would it go if I go for Shoutmon? Yeah, maybe I ate. They don't really get that much. And Hackmon needs what? ABI 20. Mm, okay. Yeah, let's have Shoutmon again. What was it? ABI 80. Oh my god. Mm, but I kind of want to know what it is. Yeah, it, it has been taunting me since the first LP. Hmm. But we are still a long ways off from that. Anyways, probably d Digivolve Shoutmon at some point again and then go for Hackmon once it's available. Probably. For now, this is fine. And we can load? No, convert some Digimon because I have been going through Kulun again. We have some new arrivals here. That we can put in our many farm spots. Okay, great! Meet you back in Kulun, yeah. Oh, so the last... The last one was also on level 2, not level 3, sorry. I'm only now entering level 3. I can't really see many of them. Oh, there is one. Great! Then let's restore it! Type 8, okay. At least the numbering line continues. Ah, oh, my body's back to normal. I'm so happy. I'm going to start bowling. <laughs> Here, thanks for these happy tears. Oh, number four. Great. And revival capsules. We need those. Desperately. Because we don't have a lot of them, and I am pretty sure I cannot buy them at this point. Oh, up there is also the treasure chest we never got because we were locked in cutscene purgatory. Okay, we are here in the northern part of Kulun level 3 and we have to jump down here to get this Mr. Mavet. Yawn. Hmm. Oh, you saved uh, me? Thanks. What? Uh, oh, right. Here's a. Uh, <laughs> Creaky more metal. And hit boost and agility boost. Okay. Nice to have, but I probably won't use them before endgame. <laughs> ah, around we go. Get that treasure chest. Taishida. Oh, a Nanimon! We haven't seen one this LP. This is the first. We actually had one for quite some time in the last LP. But <laughs> Nanimon looks so weird. Still. Ah oh, well. I kind of I kind of have come to not mind it so much, even though it kind of looks like an ugly bastard in one hand some hentai or something. And yeah, real classy poop dunk. Uh, 
Okay, what's in the mystery chest? A farm expansion plugin. Okay, what well, is actually really, really important to get back here? Uh, I'll use the sport. Oh? I just stepped into the community area because I was doing a sweep of all the Eden levels before going to Underkulun. But suddenly, a cutscene! Hmm. I don't think I have any active side quests. Is this something from the main mission? Question mark? But I wanna go! Don't be stubborn. You know you can't. But everyone else is my class is going. I wanna go too. There's nothing I can do. Now stop being so silly. Who are you calling silly? You're the stupid one. Stop crying! I don't know what more I could do. It looks like a brother and sister are having a fight. Uh, uh, I could go if I had a ticket. There must be a way to get one. A ticket? Interesting. Okay. I don't know what to make of that. Let's just... Talk to all the NPCs? No. None of them have something to say. Hmm. What was that? Can I find a ticket on the ground somewhere? They aren't here anymore. Did something appear in my player menu? No, nothing. There is nothing here. Hmm... Nah... A ticket... Okay, uh, I mean, hopefully we'll come back to that. I have no clue what to do here. Yeah, whatever that was, I have no clue. But here we are in Underkulun. I didn't find a single Mr. Navid in the, like, non-combat areas, but I could have sworn there was one, but apparently not. Okay, here we are. Oh, okay. I accidentally went to Underkulun level 2, but there is one immediately here, so let me just take that, even though it's out of, all, out of order. Heh <laughs> double meaning. Oh, it's the Type 1! It's Mr. Navit! Thanks for helping me out of that tight spot. Here's a little something for, for me to say thanks to you. Looks like there are other broken ones aside from me in Eden. Do me a favor and fix them up if you find them. And there's memory number one. Great. I mean, yeah, let me just return to level one first. I can go here again later. Okay, we are in level two. Level one didn't yield another Mr. Navit, but there is one here. Right after the flying parts. Type 4! Oh, here it is. Idiot, why do you fix me? I'll just get broken again by some human. Oh, no way! I'm staying in your debt. So just take this and go away! Sorry, all of them have the same... <laughs> the same voice. So, yeah. Flying with acceleration is more like being a fighter jet than Peter Pan. <laughs> okay, this up there should be the last one. Then we have the entire row from one to seven, I think. 
And yeah, I do realize all of them have different facial expressions, but I kind of committed to the whole, like, <laughs> announcer slash all my voice, so yeah. It's no use. I'll be bugged up again soon. Oh, what a waste. Here, have this. Thank you for fixing me. Olivia on metal and an attack boost three. Great. And those were every single Mr. Nevada I think I can get now. Please let me know if there is one in the financial institution servers. But I don't think there was one. I don't remember properly. Okay, we're back at Hudie's. So now we'll just take a small gander at those hacker memories. Hmm, but before that, let's get some manga in. Ah, oh, The Simpsons, we already have that one. My like, sorry, we already have that one. Okay, no new manga, maybe a new coffee oracle. What will those memories hold for us? Black coffee, without sugar or milk. Talk about an adult flavor, I don't think I get it quite yet. Isn't that still the same one as last time? Yeah, adult topics, right? Dark and adult coffee for dark and adult topics, okay. Then let's see... But before that, I, I just got a, a brain flash. Maybe the little kids... Yeah, one new case added! The little kids did add... another... Is, is that it? Yeah, that's it! And it's even important? Okay. They did add another BBS case. Okay, that's great. So we have that one now. We won't lose track of it. Yeah, but before that, Hacker's Memory, name of the game. Hmm. File 1, File 2, Fame Memories. Oh, okay, they are still just locked. But it's 1, 2, 3, and 4, yeah. Okay, Hacker Memory 1. Some sort of recorded text and data. Hacker definitions about hackers. Are those just like world building memories? I don't know. Happy Hackers Record. Here I define several things about hackers. For anyone who aspires to be a hacker, please read this and take it as a guide about what not to do. If you simply have an interest in hacking, this overview will give you a glimpse into the weird and wonderful world of hackers. Hackers. The word hacker has various meanings. People who enjoy fiddling with the finer points of programmable systems and finding ways to enhance them. People who program with such enthusiasm that it is like they are possessed. People who are employed to keep data safe from other hackers by looking for loopholes and vulnerabilities. Yeah, those are commonly referred to as white collar hackers, right? Or just white hackers, I think. People who specialize in programming at great speed. These are just a few examples. There are even those for whom the word is synonymous with creative pranks. As such, the word hacker has different meanings depending on the time, place and context in which it is used. I wonder what meaning it will have for the reader when this article is released. Why did you release your article in the Broken Mr. Navit? I ask. I love hacking. Hmm, no clue who that is, so I can't really adjust the voice. And these files seem to start at 21, so I guess there are 20 story relevant files, or at least files about people we know. File 22! Happy Hackers Records. Yeah, several things about hackers, and this time the topic is crackers. And not the racial slur kind. A hacker is a skilled computer expert who uses their technical knowledge to overcome a problem. Malicious people of the type who steal the confidential information of Eden users are more correctly called crackers. Indeed, that is true in the real world as well. However, most Eden users do not know this difference and tend to lump them with hackers. 
The fact that crackers do not usually refer to themselves as such also contributes to the confusion. I love hacking. Okay, that was short and concise. Number three. Because of hackers' characteristic personality traits, they generally live a certain lifestyle. As a result, they tend to look similar. Here I will give some examples of their characteristics. Okay, are we actually getting into why all NPCs look the same here? Hackers' style characteristics. They look intellectual, but not scruffy. Their clothes are usually casual, and they prefer t-shirts and hoodies. They also like to wear sandals, or maybe even go barefoot. Have we seen a barefoot hacker? Addition! Here I add an example based on the hackers who have been active in Eden recently. Due to the recent advent of the Eden system that so realistically simulates the real world, there are many examples that deviate from the above. There are numerous hacker teams who wear matching outfits similar to street gangs. True. As the Eden Network's popularity increases, I expect to see this trend become more prevalent. I mean, in the real world, it's the same, right? All anonymous members wear the Guy Fawkes mask and usually like black clothing when they make some public announcement, so yeah. I love hacking. File 24. Happy Hackers Records! Hackers' personality characteristics... Oh, getting kind of into stereotypes here. That ain't good. Typical hackers' personality traits include intellectual prowess and curiosity. Okay, what a narcissist. Many hackers are loners. However, the recent trends of hacker teams has meant that some now view these traditional solitary hackers as old-fashioned. Logical thinking is another common trait that hackers share. The ability to draw on or upload knowledge that some would consider pointless at any time is also important. They have little interest in social prestige or financial gain. Instead, the things they value are amusement and mental stimulation. I mean, if you use the crackers hackers split definition here, then maybe. But we have seen plenty of hackers slash crackers that were all in for the social prestige and especially financial gain. I mean, heck, we we assaulted the financial institution server before, and yeah, look at that. And Miseria is cer certainly in it for her own little power trip. And all of those account raiders certainly are out to make a quick buck. There are many Eden hackers who use cracking to make money. Yeah, thank you. However, the majority of hackers take a very dim view of such conduct. Hmm. Okay, I kind of think that was a bit stereotypy. Didn't like that one. Trivia, which of these amphibian are gecko or a newt? Wait, which of these are an amphibian? A gecko or a newt? Okay. Hmm. A gecko is not an amphibian, but I think a newt is. Let's just say newt. Let me take a quick gander at the time. Oh yeah, I have been at it for 45 minutes, but probably the Mr. Navit whole shebang is taking some time. <laughs>